Zach Sunderland is 16 years old, an age when most guys are chasing girls and dreading high school. But Zach is chasing a dream and a record. He is trying to be the youngest person to ever sail around the world alone. everything will go well. I've just been through my uh, first big squall out here. I had about 35 knots of wind. I was hand steering with uh, all my strength to keep the boat from running downwind. Zach must sail some 40,000 miles of open ocean to achieve his goal. Got kind of between 8 to, I don't know, 12 probably foot breaking swell right now when the wind gets up. And that is what a squall looks like. They're just little storms, I guess little areas of pressure that uh, there's basically like a massive rain cloud with a lot of wind in them. If you're not reefed down pretty extensively, they'll uh, mess up your boat pretty bad. Hopefully that won't pack more than about 20 knots, I'm guessing. Three. Three of them. That's uh... Pretty nice. Oh, is that four or five? I don't know. There's a lot of them. It's an awful day out there. Swells are all huge. It's actually raining right now. So, let's see how this thing all pans out for me here. Alright, so I'm out here right now. I'm just about to go through this massive squall. It's one of the biggest squalls I've seen. It's just massive. I need to just put away all the sails right now, so I gotta go. One of the scariest things ever happened to me in the water. Man. His obstacles are not always storms. The mind-numbing calms can be much more maddening. No wind where I'm at right now. So, I don't know what to do. Pretty awful night. It, uh, well not awful, it's just frustrating. There's just no wind anywhere to be seen. So I actually made about 12 miles straight backwards. It's a real pain. As the miles pass, it becomes a constant battle for Zach to keep his boat in one piece. A couple things I've noticed since I've been out here, ropes have started to chafe a bit. Um, that's really not good. I don't know how that happened there. But if that lets loose, it's, uh, it's a big problem. I uh, ran out of gas and diesel the night and um, tried to siphon some more in so I can run the engine a little bit and get in on time. It's always fun to get a mouthful of diesel and uh, almost hurl over the sides. So my uh, rudder was making a lot of noise here that's squeaking. That nut's back up all the way off there. There's little bits of metal all over the thing there, so I'm gonna fix that thing up real quick here. And there we go, good as new, I hope. The reefing line was jammed and a couple other things weren't working. The uh, main how you got wrapped around a step at the top of the mast. Two steps up there, but nothing but trouble. Zach must face many problems, some larger than others. I'm watching for this uh, ship that showed up on my AIS. It's off the alarm. Here's the uh, ship I'm looking out for right now. That yellow blob right there off my uh, port bow. So my engine stops working. Still not working very well. And it's trying to start it up and it's still, still having some problems. So, it's crazy having no wind and no uh, motor and a ship real close. It's really dangerous. Zach will be challenged at every level, but his biggest obstacles will be exhaustion, loneliness, and fear. I didn't sleep last night. I didn't sleep very well the night before that. I don't know how many hours that is because I'm so tired I can't think very well. I'm not getting any sound sleep because alarms keep going off and stuff. Alright, so it's day 15 out here right now. 14. No. I don't know. It's some day out here. Really 
tired up most of the night last night, so I'm just gonna crash and get some sleep right now. Night. So. Loneliness for any solo sailor is his biggest enemy. But for a young man of 16, it can be unbearable. Man, I miss everyone back home so much. You've been living with them every day of your life. It's hard. It really is. His attempt falls in the wake of all great adventures. It has a purity that crosses all boundaries. A simple but difficult test of one young man's spirit against nature. Morris decided to uh, hitch a ride on my tiller, and he's uh, he's riding it right now. This is one of humanity's greatest gifts, the desire to challenge ourselves, and the curiosity to see what is over the next horizon. He will have experienced more by his 18th birthday than most will achieve in their lifetime.